And I don't, I'm not I'm a real protective. I'm not gonna let her go to the strip clubs either. I will show up, I'm gonna be one of them daddies that shows up at the strip club with a belt, a switch, and some ones in case I get distracted. And so I bust up and go play. Where's my little girl? And then her friends over like <laughs> I go to the back, girl, get your shit, get on, let's get over here, get your little My Pony draws and get the hell on, let's go, right now. So like I said, I got a little girl on sale on eBay in about 20 minutes. Anybody that wants to pay cash, I will give you the toys for free. Batteries not included. And another thing, like, who's in here, who's in a relationship? Who's got a boyfriend, who's got a girlfriend, who's looked up right now? Give it up. Y'all been rubbing backs and asses up in this motherfucker all night, but we didn't clown. <laughs> but for some reason, like, being in a relationship is a lot like being in customer service. You understand what I'm saying? Being in a relationship is like being in customer service. And first of all, you're going to spend most of the time apologizing for some shit you didn't even do. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. Yeah, Baby, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry the sun's out. I'm sorry you were period. I'm sorry that girl's ass looked at me first. <laughs> and then you went training for like months before you even get to know what the real job is. How many of y'all, like I woke up like the first day, she's a beauty, and then about three months later I roll over, she's a fucking beast. <laughs> I don't know, she looked like Oscar the Grouch in the bed. Ah, like trash. La, 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 la. And then all of a sudden, like you don't know something's really wrong until somebody starts complaining all of a sudden. Like you come home to work, baby, how was your day? Baby, you don't love me anymore! You don't love me like you used to. So I tell you your day was good. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they want to make threats to go somewhere else. Ah, uh, that such and such to treat me better over there. I should think about going over there. On the count of three. One, two, because if you give a two-week notice. We gonna be good. We gonna be real good. And then the main thing with like relations, like customer service, you gonna get screwed, but it's mainly gonna be on payday. <laughs> Even if you work overtime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm glad it's Thursday, right? Today's Thursday, is right? Yeah. All right. I'm glad. It, like I can't stand Mondays. Anybody else not like Mondays? But it's my wife. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand Mondays. Like, but the main thing that I like about Mondays. Is I get to go home and watch TV and check out Intervention. They should rename that show to How to Get Wasted. How to Get Fucked Up. I didn't even know that you could get fucked up off of all kinds of combinations of shit. I didn't know you could get fucked up off of methadone and Skittles and mixing them together and pins of air. And then you know how they got their uh, little intervention with all emotion like, Mom, I wish you would get better. I really do. Because if you don't want to disown you, Nah, my mom. Nah, my mom. I'm like, hey. Mom, if you get better, I don't need you to get better because I'm going to disown you. I'm like, no, you ain't. That's how the fuck you got here. <laughs> One blunt led to another. Nine months later, your retarded ass came out of it. I knew you was, you was going to be on that short bus before you even got out of it. But I'm just glad she didn't uh, get on that meth and have that fucked up teeth. And why is it that people with fucked up teeth want to smile and laugh all the damn time? Like, you see him on Facebook, <laughs> mouth looking like fucked up jigsaw puzzle or something. And they throwing up gang signs in front of you. I'm like, West Side? Damn. And, like, forget it. Like, screw a hell plan. Obama needs to get, like, a, a dental plan for everybody. Because if people's got an overcrowded mouth, they might need to donate some of their teeth to the people in Virginia, West Virginia. Because they really, really do it. But I would ask Obama, though, about it, but I see he's stressed out right now. He's real stressed out. Like back during the election, his hair was all black and wavy, and now it's looking like a little gray ass ghetto blanket on the top of his head. And so I wish I could be like at one of his little press conferences where he's having a little little speech, little conversation. I could be in the back because if uh, if I would get caught, I would give Obama a blunt for real, and then just take a little stress. I'd be in a corner like. Nigga, look over here. Take this, take this. This is a fair trade. All you 